Hello there, folks, it is TIJ Gaming, and welcome to a new video. And today it's time for me to review the new patch for Snooker 19 update 1.06 coming on July the 10th, and finally. At 1.50, yeah, 1.50 exactly p.m., I've got my hands on the update, downloaded it. It was a pretty big one, to be honest. Uh, a bit of disparity between the PS4 and the Xbox One, it seemed. And I think my update was 3 gigabytes, whilst my good friend Captain Goodspeed, his update was only a gigabyte. Now, in the top right corner, I'm going to show all of the content that they've added. This is on their Reddit uh, post that they did 12 days ago. So there might be a few more things, uh, but as of yet, they haven't uh, released an official uh, sort of patch notes. So interesting things that I'm going to be looking at particularly is a new aiming aid of Pro Plus that sits between Pro and Master. Uh, career mode settings to see if we can change difficulty in career mode. Uh, gameplay improvements. Trophy fix. Going to have a quick look at that one as well. Uh, but a lot of little ones that I'm sure will contribute to a big improvement. So no difference. Oh, oh. I think that, I don't know, but I feel like that's been changed for some reason. I feel like that the picture or something's been changed. I just don't recognise it, that's all. Uh, but yeah, settings all seem the same. Right, let's go into career mode first. So, a little bit of an advertisement, I suppose, uh, is that I am... Um, oh, okay, so yes, we can customise. Uh, that wasn't an option before, but uh, I do do my career mode, my Neil Robertson career mode. Oh, hang on. Ooh. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, right, A is for settings. Oh, thank God for that. Oh, so straight away uh, in your career mode, wherever you are in your career mode, I'm actually at the Daffabet Masters final, was urging for this update to see if I could change difficulty, and finally I can. So in any time in the career mode, you can change to easy, medium, hard, etc, etc. You can change the naming aid. We've now got the Pro Plus aiming aid. I'll have a give, give that a quick going quick match. Uh, and we've still got master and no aiming aids. We've got one, two, three, four, five aiming aids now, uh, rather than just the four. And then, of course, you can change the matches to long, but that is still uh, the best of 11. But I'm assuming that, I don't know if it's meant to be, as well, we can test that. No, it must just be uh, at the start of a tournament, perhaps, that uh, changed. So good, that's one ticked off. Uh, now let's go into quick match. Uh, and try this Pro Plus aiming aid. Now you can do one, three, five, seven frames as usual. I'm just going to do one frame here. Uh, where are we going to go to? Got to go to the Crucible, haven't we, really? Uh, and we'll play as... Duh, 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 duh. Ah, they've updated the rankings as well now, of course. Uh, Neil Robertson's rank four. For Italy, I haven't played for ooh, a long time. Uh, so I'm not really sure whether that was updated uh, regularly anyway. But Mark Selby down from number one all the way to number five or number six even number five uh, number six so we're gonna play uh as the world champion judd trump and we're gonna play against his uh opponent in the final we're gonna play against john higgins and we're gonna try this pro plus aiming aid to see how we get on now i'm a bit rusty i haven't played the game for a week so we'll have to see how we get on here but a pro plus aiming aid uh, all that's said unless i've missed something is that it's just um a new aiming aid that sits between pro and master Long pots, playing off the cushion, and rest play have aiming aid adjustments to reflect the increased difficulty of these shot types. Now, obviously, over one frame, you're not going to see a hell of a lot of that massively. Uh, but there might be some distant difference, so let's have a look, and I'll tell you something. I haven't played at the Crucible yet. It's probably not the best arena to do it at. But they did say they'd made some lighting improvements, and this looks better to me already, to be honest. Yeah, it looks nice to me, but no handshake. I suppose that's because it's just an exhibition match. I think it's just in the uh, normal matches. Oh, my God. I don't know if this is just the Crucible, but this looks so much better. And, oh, look at that. Look at the tiny... Well, that's tiny, that little... Uh, oh, that little bit in the aiming aid. Blimey, that is tough. That's really tough, that is. Let's see if we can get to it. Oh, that is tough. Wow. But our usual break-off shot, and it's up to bulk. That's pretty nice. We'll take that. But these lighting improvements, I don't know if they extend to all of the arenas, but this looks really nice. And a, a new uh, camera, or whatever you want to call it, new cutscene camera uh, for changing between shots. I don't know if we've still got that opponent thinking it. But, oh, I like this. Okay, so, hmm. Well, these shots aren't massively harder, but that's just because I think we can gauge now. Uh, so we're going to go for this. Well, it goes... Oh, no scoreboard as well when you're going for a pot now. That makes things a lot clearer, a lot better. Because sometimes, I don't know, you, it's very occasionally, but your ball could get blocked. Uh, or the view of the ball, rather, could get blocked. Now, this is a good opportunity to see what the the different shots are like. Yeah, I mean, the, 
that shot would be a lot easier uh, before, but that's a lot harder. I usually play on pro uh, aiming aids, hence why that's a lot harder. But oh goodness me, yeah, it's a good challenge though, really good challenge. Hmm, what do we go for here? Take the brown on. I'll take the brown on, but I don't think we're going to be anywhere near. Give it a go though. Oh, it's not far off. Oh, it's not quite bounced. And he's going to get a start here is Higgins. This is my first time in a while playing on hard AI. So let's see what John Higgins can do. But it looks really fresh, uh, really nice. And yeah, they've just given a game, the, the game a facelift. And this game's been out for pretty much three months now. It's unbelievable how long it's been out. I think it's three months on the 16th. I, remember, uh, I seem to remember that date. But this just looks flawless now. No, it was a good game when they first bought it out, but oh my goodness, it looks lovely. And I, I, I don't know, I, I do wonder, you guys might be able to know more than me, I suppose. But do you think there might be plans for a snooker 20? Oh, if we missed the ball. God, that was that was that thin, I think we missed it. We might have done, or we might have just given it the thinnest nick. But funnily enough, we just missed both balls if we're going to get a foul. Yeah, we did miss. And to be fair, that was a pretty thin nick, but we think it might have just been out the... The, uh, not the comfort zone, but the right zone. And, ooh, that's a good safety from John. Right. Again, we're playing it quite thin. But you do wonder, perhaps, because it is maybe not getting in that right zone, that we're not going to hit the shot so nice. And that is really tough. It's very rewarding, but equally, it can be the opposite. It can be really damaging if you don't quite get in that zone. Now, I don't know what... I haven't played on Master, so I wouldn't know what the Master uh, difficulty would entail. But that might go into the pocket. Oh, he's okay, though. This is a nice uh, safety battle, but we're going to try and end that. Let's try and get this in the pocket. It's about right. might be a bit off. Tempted by this red. Yep, good pot, and that breaks up the reds quite nicely. So we are on the black and possibly get a bit of a break going here. But it just it just nice. It just feels like the game's on a bit of a face list, which really isn't what it needed. Uh, because I know I was certainly getting tired of playing on the medium AI. That was the right difficulty when I started playing the game, but, you know, not anymore. Yeah, the, these shots are just... It's not massive, the difference. And to the naked eye, perhaps, it might not look much different to my usual career mode, for example. But it definitely is. There's a definite... It's, it's only minuscule, but everything's made a little bit harder. And it's only really because I, I, I can sort of judge the the uh, shots to where the cue ball's going, the angle of the cue ball. Uh, oh, that's not going to be a very good shot. That is a pain. But funnily enough, it's a pretty much a straight pot, so we should be okay. Got away with that one. Oh, we'll see, won't we? Yep, there we go. That was, that was the most lucky we could have got there. And uh, we are on the black. But at least with the, uh, especially with the career mode dynamic improvement as well, the dynamic uh, difficulty change. At least if this gets too easy, uh, this aiming aid. Oh, luckily, there's just a gap there. I didn't quite think. I thought we'd muck that up, to be quite honest. But there is just a gap. And that's a nice pot. Pocket's a lot more profound now. A lot more. It just seems a lot better. I don't know if it's the lighting improvements, or I don't know if I'm being exaggerative and it's the same as it was before, and I just haven't played at the Crucible with all the lights on. But this is nice. But we are playing well here. Now, this could be interesting. Now, long pots have been made a lot harder, apparently. Uh, well, I mean, we're all, I mean, this one's not a very good example because it's a, a pretty straight pot, isn't it? That being said, we'll probably miss it now. I look like an idiot. Uh, that should be about right. As always, though, folks, uh, I haven't actually done this week because I've been waiting for the patch. But that's a nice pot. But, uh, yeah, subscribe for my Neil Robertson career mode. That's going to be going on for a long time yet. We're just about halfway through the season, actually. And uh, if I can get this video done in time, we will have the uh, Masters final first session tonight on the channel. Just look, if we screw back, can we get to the red? Ooh. Take the chance, I suppose. I'll play a bit harder, though, to get to the pocket. But no problems just yet. Obviously, if... You guys do have any problems with the new patch. I'm sure the developers would be more than happy uh, to have a look at those. Oh, that, we completely misjudged that. So that's going to be end of break. We'll just play a safety on this bottom red. 
But from what I've seen so far, I am impressed. It's great. Um, you know, it, it, it just seems like we've got a bit of a better game. And you can really, uh, you know, really appreciate the work the developers have done. It's amazing, really, because as I say, the game's nearly three months old. I couldn't name many games where the developers would make such a massive change. I know it's their first game, so I know it's not that groundbreaking. But equally, uh, it is interesting. Now, can we get to that with side? No, we can't quite. Uh, and to be honest, I'm rubbish at playing plants and the like. But we're going to try it. Just effectively should be straight. So go for the pot. See how we get on. Could be way off here. Oh, there we go. Nice pot. But in that, we've actually blocked another pot. Now, these pots on the green are usually fairly okay. But that's a lot harder now than I think it was before. Again, if I had the time, which I haven't today, uh, I'd get a side-by-side -side comparison in there. Oh, we've actually missed that. So, yeah, that is a little bit harder. And considering that wasn't really played with much pace, there wasn't really much room for error, but... I'm trying to multitask it, because there's a stupid spider in my room. Get out. Go on. Out. There we go. But we do have the opponent is thinking screen. Could throw a few shots he could take on here. So, let's have a look how Higgins gets on. Oh, he's missed that. Mm, was a bit of a poor shot, wasn't it? But we can get to this one. Can we get to the other one and just play a bit of a plant? I'd rather do that than try and pop this one. It's a little bit awkward. Let's go for it, though. And there we go. Good pop. Mm, the pot, uh, angle's not there on the black, but at least we can take on the pink. And what I am going to test... We're going to play this frame, and then I'm just going to test... Uh, there's an achievement, one that I can actually probably do, uh, and that's to clear the table in 10 minutes. Uh, and that didn't work before on the last update, so I'm interested to see uh, if that works. But will this go? Yeah, it will. That's good to see then. Should be our frame though here, I would have thought. Eight. That's nice, black on the bottom. Shouldn't be a problem here. Oh, no, I don't know what we were playing there. I did think. I thought, hang on, that's a bit straight. No, a bit stupid that was. But we haven't left a massive amount on. It's still quite a competitive frame we got here. And John's choosing to play a safety anyway. Where's the cue ball? Oh, dear, John Higgins. Well, now's our test to see where we get, where we get, where we get on. Uh, we've got one that's tight on the cushion. Or fairly tight to the cushion anyway. And uh, this is a fairly tricky shot. You can tell there's just a bit more of a dynamic range there. Got no idea about this shot, but we don't really leave much on if we miss it. And we've, yeah, we've missed that. But we got away with it. But making the game harder, that's the problem. You are, are to, If you've outgrown the difficulty, there's one of two things you can do. You can either make it harder for yourself. Or you can make it that the uh, player you're playing against is better. Now, I'd usually favour the second option, because, it, especially in this instance anyway, because I haven't necessarily mastered the game, it's just the fact that if we give the AI the opportunity, they don't take it. But I think giving the player the option to do both is, is brilliant, really, and it just increased the life cycle of the game. It's a fair play to the devs, but that was a bit of a weird shot there from the Wizard of Wishort. Not much magic involved there. Bit of a tricky one to the middle pocket, but I fancy it. He's taking the red on. Looks good. What and it's there. Well, we have Just four reds left on the table. We don't need that many more sure. pots to to what? secure the frame now, really. But I'm sure we can bugger it up. Oh, that's gone way too far. Uh, that being said, it's not gone way too far. No, we've still got a fairly straight pot on a red, so we've got a little bit lucky there. Well, that's like a fairly straight pot. It's a lot more curved than I thought it would be. Just the red needed here. But just the red needed. Ooh. Well, we've missed that. Might be my incompetence, but this is definitely showing some mistakes from us here. Which is good. Nice to see. End of the day, you don't want to be potting every ball. And that's what was happening in our career mode. And even if we were missing like we were there... You'd be getting opponents who maybe, I don't know, 20, 30 breaks. And I'm not sure why he's waiting here. You know, there's only really one shot on. Yeah. 
Playing with a lot of right hand side. But getting back in for the pink, that's nice. Of course, we only needed the red. Uh, but unfortunately, we didn't get it. So he's still in this, is Higgins. He could come and snatch this frame off us. And to be honest, I wouldn't mind seeing that. Just to be punished for that one mistake. I think it just if you if you've got more challenge, it makes you push harder as a player at the end of the day. But very pleased with this new patch, I'm chuffed. In a game that I was a little bit reluctant to play before because of the difficulty, it's a lot better now. So thumbs up to the, the guys at uh, Ripstone and Lab 42, etc, etc. Um, and if you guys haven't bought the game yet, I'd recommend you do so. 14. Of course, a lot cheaper than it was when it first came out. And this effectively feels like a new game. 21. really does with the... You can change a lot of things that you couldn't do before. You know, in a lot of patches, you just get a few lighting changes and all that sort of thing, and you don't really notice. And I think John Higgins is going to win this frame here. Well, I said he was, but he's actually snookered himself. What on earth has he played here? Is he going to hit the yellow? That is mighty impressive, apart from the fact he might pot the cue ball, but he hasn't. Oh, he's left a pot on, though. Oh, that's unfortunate for, for our John. But, if we pot this, we just need the... Just need the green, don't we, if we pot this. 22 ahead, yeah, so 24 with 25 remaining. Pot this, though. Focus on potting this, so then we can play a safety. Nice. Well, you lost control of the cue ball there. Yeah, we have lost control of the... Hang on, I've just noticed. Two. Is it... Uh. With certain shots, if you look, you just have a little... Uh, okay. Is it just more refined shots, then? Oh, I don't know what's happened now. Oh, I see. For straighter shots, you've got a bigger... That, that's understandable. For more straight shots, you've got uh, more of a... Yeah, more of a bar, that's good. But on ones that are tighter... That's nice, I like that. Right, just give a bit of an uh, impromptu chance. I would I would just play a safety here, usually. Won't hurt to take a chance, though. And, oh, it's not there. John just needs the five balls and he wins the frame. As I say, I usually wouldn't play that, but... Risk over reward. You'd expect a player of John's calibre, especially on hard difficulty to do this now. Yeah, he's dispatched that one. Oh, he's not left himself the best position on the blue. And it's going to have to be this pocket. Yeah, but of course he'd pot it. And he's going to get this sorted now. He'll pot the pink. And he'll just screw back to a similar position. And brilliantly on the black. So... It was, a, it was a decent frame, that was, but we made one or two mistakes, and John won it from us, and it didn't feel like we had to force him to win there, unlike on some career mode episodes in the past. But uh, I'm going to go and see if I can get this achievement now. Let me see if I can find it. Well, clear the table in one visit first off, but it's these that haven't got any one completing them because they were bugged. Uh, we've got... Uh, clear the table in one visit in under 10 minutes, single player only. So we'll see if we can do that and see if that achievement now works. Oh, unbelievable. <laughs> I'm trying to clear the table. Oh, an amateur aiming aid. And I couldn't do it. Oh, that's, that's terrible. Uh, <laughs> we got a 70 break and I mucked up one of the reds and we couldn't do it. Oh, dear, that's laughable. But <laughs> I was feeling the pressure just... Uh, just there, really, but I'm going to try it again. Oh, the, the, <laughs> I thought this would be easy. Oh, for Christ's sake. <laughs> this is dreadful. Oh, I could cry. <laughs> I had two attempts at this, and I just mucked it up. I just hit the shot way too early. Oh, dear. Do I have it in me to have... I'll have one more go. I'll have one more go. Oh, scratch that. I tried it three times and I'm just about to cry. <laughs> Let's focus. <laughs> no, let's not focus. I only got 13 this time without missing. Oh, dearie me. But I presume those achievements do work. I've got faith in the developers that those do work based on the success of everything else in the patch. Uh, that should work. But uh, really chuffed with a new patch. It brings a new lease of life to the game. But if you enjoyed that, max leave a like down below. Comment your thoughts on the patch and subscribe for four videos of Snooker a week on a Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday in the Neil Robertson Pro career. 
But until the next time, I've been TIJ Game. Thank you very much for your company, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye for now.